Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. There is a company which finally starting to make uh, nuclear style straps for PlayStation VR 2 controllers. Many of you wanted them, so we're gonna talk about it a bit more because it looks like it's finally starting to happen. Also, we've got some information about Teen Hearts, a very nice upcoming Lemmings type game. And also, we're gonna talk a bit more about the runner. So, let's get started. Let's get some more. Oh, here we, go. here we are. Uh, we're gonna look at the this first. So I'm here on the Twitter, uh, and basically uh, Shookhead here from Shookhead Gaming. Uh, he asked those people, Mammut VR, they make uh, accessories for VR headsets. He said, "Okay, now I need a VR peripheral company to make nuclear style grips for the PlayStation VR 2 controllers." I can't go back now at Mammoth VR and basically what they said is working on it. So they're making something which is super awesome. Of course, uh, Valve Index controllers, uh, they are like the gold standard. I don't know if they got it patented or uh, what's happening, but basically this is what people want from pretty much all the controllers, but only Valve does it. So here we are on the Valve website and basically that's what them controllers look like. So we've got normal VR controllers. And then this is, I'm assuming that's how tracking happens here as well. Uh, you put your hands through this little hole and they stay attached to you like that on your knuckles. So you don't need any wrist straps or anything else. Like I said, it's only Valve who does it. So I don't know uh, why other companies not making it like that. Unless they are got it patented. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we all, uh, most of you anyway, wants to hold controllers like this. So uh, rightfully so, because I really like this design as well. So if you go to the Mammut VR website, which is the company we just talk, spoke about, which are working on those type of grips, you can see that they've been doing them for different headsets. Like here you've got ones for Quest. Uh, so basically it just goes through the bottom and then you attach it to your controller like this. And that helps you to kick, use your knuckles instead of wrist straps, which is nice. Uh, you can see this is like a more advanced with grips and everything, some uh, other stuff as well. So I would like to, this is one uh, what they did for the Rift as well. So, you know, it's possible once they got the, let's say they know how the controllers look like, they, they can do it. Also, by the way, they got very nice gun stock. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to do attachment for the gun stock for PSVR 2. That would be cool. I mean, it doesn't look much here because of course in VR you don't see it, but I know many of you playing Pavlov now. Uh, so who, whichever company gonna do the Gunstock first, I think they in for the money. Because I know how many of you want Gunstock and those as well. So if they first do that as well, well, they they gonna be the ones. Uh, just like with that stunt, Collective Minds uh, got so popular that they run out of stock so fast. Uh, I think you will get it eventually, uh, talking about Collective Minds. But anyway, I'm getting off track here. So yeah, let me know if you want those Nuclear style controllers. I definitely would like to see them on PSVR. Uh, they, they just so much more comfortable to wear and so such a easier ease of use. So yeah, we see. I'm gonna follow it once they got designed revealed for PSVR 2. I will let you know. But as you can see on the Twitter here, they are working on it. Okay, now moving on to the next story. What I'm about to do is bring you a trailer from Teen Hearts. Uh, I don't think I show you this trailer before. Uh, this is the trailer from. Uh, Golden Joystick Awards, I think. This is the latest one anyway. So basically, what is happening with this game? Of course, it got announced for PlayStation VR 1 ages ago, and then we didn't have nothing on the, of it. Then they just announced the flat version. But, uh, you know, the flat version with that announcement, you kind of didn't know what's happening with PSVR. But they did say that VR will come in the future. And now they said when this future will be. So Teen Hearts, which look very, very nice, very strange and very like, let's say, unexpected <laughs> from what I seen in first trailer to what I'm seeing now. Uh, so Teen Hearts, the developer said it on, on the Discord, one of the people who works for the company. They said that VR mode for, you know, uh, Quest, Pico, PSVR 2, that will come this summer. So this is like the slamming styles of game, I think, but it's very rich in story, like this trailer story like really takes, makes, makes me think like what's going on here. It sounds a bit of ominous, a bit of sad, a bit of sadness, a bit of drama, a bit of intrigue. <laughs> so we see, we see what's happening. It's coming from Wired Productions, so they're always making cool games. Uh, one of the games what they're gonna release soon is the 
Last Worker, which looks pretty interesting as well. They always got these nice titles in the development. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let's just finish this trailer now, might as well. Since I don't think I showed that one on the channel and now we know it's coming to PSVR 2. It's coming this summer, by the way. Yeah, very interesting. I don't know what this machine is. This machine brings them to life or something? The little wooden, wooden figurines? I don't know, he looks very sad about it. Hmm. Such an interesting title. I'm really intrigued by what I'm gonna see. Okay, that trailer plays again, so we don't want that now. Okay, let's move on to the another story. And once again, we're going to talk about the runner. So they're doing this new update and uh, the developer actually posted some uh, camera angles, what I didn't saw before, so I just want to show you. Uh, so this is one of not many games what lets you use different camera angles for your spectators who's watching you play in your room, in home, it's not online. They also let you uh, other player grab controller and control the game, so that's cool. But anyway, so they're saying here's the chase close camera angle. This is one of two chase cameras intended for a spectator to take the proverbial wheel using the analog stick on the dual sense to do dodge traffic and grab power-ups. Now here, this is the second uh, camera. This one is called Chase Far. Uh, a higher and lower angled view that some players may prefer. It is possible for spectators to actively toggle between those view in real time. Cool. So basically the person can control bike in flat and you can just do shooting. But anyway, uh, this also includes a multitude of quality of life improvements, which weren't quite ready for launch, including a new enemy reference, a revised control diagram that's accessible from the pause menu, as well as a number of other important book fixes and polish. Most significantly, we continue to review player feedback and we, uh, we've cut the sidearm reload time to half from to half and quarter of the current iteration. This allows for faster reload, so if you want to focus on just using one hand to shoot, this will make the game significantly easier. Yes, that's I'm one of those people. I like one hand. There's one camera missing. Oh yeah, this one. So this is a look at the speed camera social skin mode captured on. So that's cool. That's like kind of like the cinematic camera what people can see. So it's nice, just it's nicer to show off your uh, virtual reality games, basically. So yeah, Runner keep getting improved. I really like it. Okay, big, big shout out to all the patrons. They're scrolling down there in the background. I super appreciate your support. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash polishpolvr. And of course, for all the latest PlayStation VR 2 news, stay tuned to the channel, you know, news, reviews, gameplays, hicks, tricks, hacks, software, hardware, anything. Stay tuned to the channel as soon as I got something for you, I will let you know. And for now, that's it. Bye, 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 bye.